Yo, what's going on? So in this video, what I'm going to do is install this new um, NVMe stick. So it's basically an STD um, and it's a lot faster than the SATA drives. Um, this one goes straight onto the motherboard, whereas the other SATA ones, they're still fast, but they're restricted because it's using the old SATA cable. So I decided to get 250 gigabyte purely because anything above that starts getting ridiculously pricey and I don't really need that much storage um, so hopefully this should boot a lot faster um, as you can see I have a HDD at the moment and it should be 35 times faster apparently so that's what the case looks like um, I got this from Amazon for it was around 30 pounds um, so it came quite quickly um, and it's the Kingston A2000. I saw some good reviews on it, so I decided to purchase it. So yeah, let's get out of the packaging and see what it looks like. So this is how the stick looks like. Pretty small, pretty thin. It's quite fragile as well. So yeah, let's get that inside the laptop and sort it out. Right, so here's my old HDD. It's one terabyte, running at 50... 400 RPM, so it's pretty slow compared to 7200 ones, but even then HD are pretty slow So I'm gonna get rid of that one and then Install that one and it should boot a lot faster and program should run a lot more smoother And also as you can see I still got that uh, slot um, MT which is where I'm going to upgrade my other RAM stick. I'm hoping to get 16 and 16 gigabytes, so giving me a total of 32 gigabytes. And this at the moment, 8 gigabyte, which is okay for normal usage, but hopefully getting 32, I should be able to run video editing a lot smoother. Right, so it sticks here, and it goes here. Um, so you need to get rid of that screw. So let's do that. Hopefully you guys can see. It's a little bit tight. I have to push down as I unscrew it. And that comes off like so. So you get a little screwed up here. Put that to the side. And literally, you've got this little dent in here. You can see this little gap here. If I can focus in a little bit. Let's go in a little bit. You can see that little indent here. So you can only go one way, which is this way. So you can like slot it in. Can't do it at an angle. You have to like kind of like push it down a little bit more and then put a bit of force in and it'll go in like that, it makes that little clicking noise and then what you do is get your screw and put that on and that should be it really. Right, next what you want to do is boot up and then what you want to do is go to computer management. You'll see this screen here, you go to disk management. What you want to do is select MBR and press OK and then you'll see that this disk now, which is my um, this that was uh, inserted now you can see it's got 250 gigabytes it's well, showing 232 because some of the storage is um, unlocated and then we want to do is press this next just press next again and then it's going to be allocated to D drive go next uh, leave it as that press next again press finish it's formatting at the moment and um, that's it really and now it's ready to use so what you want to do is just check it's all working fine right let's go to my computer to check it and then you can see here D drive and it's all working fine right next what I want to do is clone my hard drive over to my new NVMe disk so you just go ahead and download this cloner let it download so that's downloaded now, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. And it's going to start opening. And just go ahead and just go through all the yeses and get that installed onto your machine. Install. There you go. Don't need that anymore, so I can close that. Don't need that, so I can close that. So close all of that and finish up. And then you'll have your application on your desktop. So go ahead and launch that. Press yes on that. And then it'll start. And this is what you'll see. And this is what you'll see. You'll have your disk zero and disk one, which is your main hard drive and your 
um, new disc that you inserted. Right, so now you've got your Itemsoft cloner on display. What you want to do is go to the copy and then you go zero and one. And then we want to do a select source partition. So obviously this is your original one and you want to clone it to disk one. So we want to do a select D for the select a target partition. Press D and press start. Depending on how fast your machine is, it'll take about half an hour to an hour to get that done. And that's it really. Right, and then what you want to do is go into your boot menu and change the order. But because I don't need need my HDD anymore, I've decided to take it out and just leave my um, NVMe disk in there. So if you did do that, you just go into boot menu and you'll change it. So you can see my one's OS boot manager, Windows boot, Kingston. Uh, it's just going to boot from there now. So let's give it a try and see what happens, how long it takes to boot. So should be just a few seconds now. And there you go, look how quick it is. And it goes in straight away, not even a few seconds. So you can see it's worth doing this change. So everything's all really quick. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, then remember to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. What I forgot to mention was the read and write speed. So as you can see, it's hitting 1600 read and 1200 write. It's a little bit slower than the more premium brands. Um, they hit about 3000, 4000, depending on what you get. But obviously this one's a budget one, it's really cheap. If you want to get the more faster speeds, you need to spend a little bit more. For me, I don't need that kind of speed because for my requirements, this is enough. Um, if you're looking to get something a lot more faster, obviously you have to justify using it and spending that much. And for me, I don't need it. So I went for the budget. So there you go.